Emanuel Wittstum Shalom. Shalom. And welcome to Culture Buzz. I'm very happy to be here. The pleasure is all ours. And we appreciate uh, your time because we know you are very busy here at the City Hall in Jerusalem where we conduct this uh, interview. It has to do with uh, dissolving localities and your coming trip to Madrid. So what is it all about, Emanuel? It sounds very intriguing. Dissolving Localities is an uh, audio-visual project in which the daily life of Jerusalem and uh, other cities in the world uh, are transformed into works of art. Basically what we have is that artists record with video and record with microphones daily life in Jerusalem. So, Mashuk Machni Yehuda, Masharim neighborhood, different churches, different na- you know, natural sounds, and then transform these sounds to be like a piano. We improvise on these sounds to create a work of art. The project has until now been presented in uh, Jerusalem and in Paris, in America, and now on Sunday we're bringing this for the first time to Madrid, and uh, it's going to be very unique uh, in Madrid, uh, because we're actually combining work with uh, Spanish, German, and Israeli artists, wow. and we're going to connect between Jerusalem and Madrid. Truly international. Yes, so we're going to create multicultural dialogue between the two cities Amazing. as a work of art. A bridge builder. That's what I very, very much try to do, yes. I think and that it, art can build bridges. And it all started here. It all started here in Jerusalem. I'm from Jerusalem and I love this city. And um, I feel that uh, it's a way to try and create uh, a project that demonstrates life in Jerusalem and can open up eyes and doors to how it is to, to live in Jerusalem or actually how it is to create a communication between different cultures. Okay, so after all these uh, countries you have mentioned... Which are uh, the next on your list? Uh, there are different dialogues that are taking place. It's too early to say. Yes, but right now, one of the things that for me is very important, we did a project uh, in a couple of months ago where we collaborated with Google Israel and integrated Google Street View as part of the project. But now in Madrid, we're doing something really special because we're uh, inviting people who live in Madrid to upload recordings of their favorite places in Madrid so that that can be part of the project. Wonderful. So that actually the people in Madrid can it's, be part of the project. It's a democratic project. Yes, and it's going to be at the Matadeo in Madrid and the uh, Israel Foreign Office and the uh, Israeli Embassy in Madrid and the German Embassy in Madrid this are is the very ta- strong. This uh, is the time to mention Aouva. Yes, Aouva Spiele, without whom this project would not have come to Madrid. So yes. thank you very, very much, Aouva. She, she lives up to her name, the beloved. <laughs> yes, very true. And uh, we're very, very excited. And I think that... Right now, the project is a fascinating one because it really creates multicultural dialogue in the art, which is not a metaphor. It's not what could be. It really is what's happening here, and it takes that and tries to create out of that art. Exciting. Well done, if I may say so myself. Thank you very much. Emmanuel, would it be uh, correct to describe your artistic way? We still remember the lab and other projects you have been involved in. Would it be correct to describe it as experimental? It is experimental in a way, but it always tries to communicate with people. It never tries to say, what I'm trying to say as a conceptual artist is more important than what I'm trying to talk with you about. And as I'm a cultural bridge builder, so to speak, from the what, what I'm, what's very interesting for me, it's also the same thing with the art. I don't want people to come to my artistic projects and come out feeling, I don't know what happened here. But I do want them to think and I do want them to be engaged. So there's always, uh, you know, you always try to work the seam between the more experimental and conceptual to the more direct and uh, discussional, so to speak. Wonderful, wonderful indeed. And what can we wish, Emmanuel Wittstum, for the future? I think that what we can always wish for is that there will be peace and understanding and that if art can create multicultural dialogue, I think that people can create multicultural dialogue and that's our future. And... Uh, It's a fascinating process to be in. And to that we can all only say Amen. Thank you. Emmanuel, Todaraba. Good luck, all the best and shalom.